Hello everyone, let's make sure this video is set and ready. Gosh, oh, my Wi-Fi just doesn't get any better. Alright, here we go. Found it. It only took a little bit of effort to find it. Uh, morning, everyone. Um, welcome to another class. Uh, this is also on YouTube and Facebook. So if your um, YouTube isn't working, you can hop onto Facebook. If your Facebook isn't working, you can hop onto YouTube. Um, happy National Scrapbooking Day, everyone. Um, I hope you like the post that mom and dad have been doing and I think we should probably get started because I said a lot of ums already. Okay, so today what we're doing is we're going to be creating um, with a rice paper um, from Studio Light and one of my mum's designed a flower power vellums. I haven't looked after this one very well. Limit. It was kind of scrunched up in a bowl. Um, I don't find it out with an encyclopedia as best as possible. So we're going to be creating with these two just to show you what the difference is between the two different uh, mediums and also using our glitter paints. Um, this is going to be like a two-in-one type thing. So difference between rice paper and vellum. And then also the some techniques some other techniques you can use with these glitter paints other than just using them as glitter because you can also mix them with paint and use them as like a blending type thing and um, you can also use them with embossing powder I worked out the other day which is quite fun and um, they dry tacky which means foiling is easier with these ones it's like gives it more of like a rustic effect oh hello die how are you Let's get started, shall we? How was your week, Diane? Um, right, so first of all, we're going to stick down our lovely rice paper and vellum. So I'm only going to probably use a little bit of this one. So some of the circles, I'm just going to cut them out as like a backing collage layer to what we're going to do with the glitter paints. Because some of the glitter paint techniques will be very translucent to transparent. And then other ones will be completely opaque. So it all just depends what you mix them with. Um, they're a little bit more easier to use than the glitter glues. Because the glue isn't... I find as, well not as strong because it still keeps the glitter in there, it's just, I don't know, clumpy I think might be the word. I think clumpy might be the word. So we're just cutting this one out here and I'm sorry if you can hear me sniffling. It's just that I think I might be coming down with like a head cold. So because of it's getting colder down here and I went to bed with wet hair last night so you know I'm an absolute genius in my own little book yep not the smartest move I know I'm now majorly regretting it if it helps me being lazy last night was not worth it who would have thought Right, so then we're just going to come in and touch out this one. And then I think maybe that's three, so two more. So maybe this big one and then that's 
small one because we want odd numbers. <laughs> and I'm just cutting these out because when you stick rice paper down, it tends to become quite heavy. And because this is a darker print one, it won't be as light as some of the other uh, rice papers we've used before, which are nice, like, light um, coloured. Oh my gosh, my head. Um, lightly covered, uh, like, landscapes and stuff like that. I'll show you in a minute. Um, because, yeah, we tend... Uh, well, I tend to use those ones because it's easier to cover them and they don't leave such a big, um, like, a heaviness to the, like, it doesn't draw you back to the collage layer in a sense. Uh, but this one here, because it's a lot darker, it will be more on, like, the opaque side. So you won't actually get anything from underneath being seen, which is why we're also using vellum with it today. Because vellum is always transparent, like, you can always see what's underneath. And especially when you add the glue, it just makes, as we all know, when you add gel medium matte, it makes it a little bit more... Like, it... it well, when you actually add gel medium matte, it degrades the paper so much that it takes a layer of it away which is why you can actually see things underneath papers that you couldn't before and it's like adding water to paper which is pretty cool so let me just see if I can find where we used oh yeah so see this one here this is where we've used a lighter rice paper and it doesn't draw you as heavily to the background it's just like kind of more of like a nice little slight hint that it's there so um, this one here won't be like a slight hint. It will be very obvious that it's on the background, which is nice and can work really well. You just have to be wary. That's why we're not sticking down it just straight down because I don't want it to be a block thing. I want it to be more, have the spaces so that you can see, um, the full range of the different effects with the glitter paints as well. So, here we go. We've got that one there stuck. Or laid out. We're then just going to get our vellum. And you can tell when it's really good vellum because you can tear it. It means that it was made correctly. Because vellum is made with extreme heat, which makes it super blend bendy. So we just want, I think, that bit there, and then just a little bit. Uh, and maybe a tinsy bit up here as well. Um, so also, just a bit of a heads up moment. I can confirm that I'm coming to the May retreat. I'm booking my flights today to head up to Gladstone. And uh, see my family. And yeah, I'll be there for it. I got my holiday, well... I got my remote, uh, working remotely from home uh, days. Um, yesterday I got them approved by my boss, which means I can officially come home. Uh, we'll go home and, yeah, have some fun. So we're going to have a lot of fun that weekend. Um, I'm actually looking forward to going on the cameos because I miss cutting. I don't know what it is. I actually miss cutting so much. Oh, that's okay, Mum. Oh, good morning, Leanne. Yeah, so um, my boss officially confirmed yesterday that um, I was allowed to work uh, home, uh, remote from home yesterday, so that's nice. So I can do that, which means I'll be home. 
But yeah, I miss cutting on the cameos. I don't know what it is. I miss it. I also miss my family a lot. But you know. Here we go. So we've got one down and we're just doing the sandwich thing. I'm not going to rub too much glue over top of the rice paper today just because I don't want it to, like I said, when you add glue to paper it actually degrades the quality and thickness of it just because you're literally adding a wet substance, substance to pop. Like that is the best way I can describe it. So we're going to, yeah. Yes, it might look better with my rice paper designs, but unfortunately, uh, the Star Trek beaming out technology hasn't been invented yet, so we can't go beam me out Scotty or beam me some rice paper because, you know, that happens and, yeah. So you can do this with basically any rice paper. Um... Like I said, the darker ones you go for, the more you're going to be drawn into that collage layer. So we might have to add some white to this page today because it might get a little bit dark. But, um, yes, I have my own range of rice paper thanks to my mum. I just generally send my mum photos of my art or she'll be like, send me a pic. So I, uh, she's like, send me some pictures. So I send her pictures of art. I know she's asking for, like, actual pictures of my face, but I don't take those. So, you know, she gets pictures of art instead. And, um, yeah. She just uses them whenever she wants, which is good. So, and then I'm just going to keep adding some glue onto here. So the reason why we're doing like some overlapping with the vellum is so then you can see that when the rice paper is over top of the vellum you actually don't see the vellum underneath at all like you cannot see it but when the vellum is on top of the rice paper you can see the vellum very clearly so you can see the difference in the qualities of paper so if you do want to see something underneath quite clearly you definitely have to use vellum whereas if you um are just looking for like a nice light collage that doesn't have any like thickness to it then definitely use rice paper it also doesn't break as easily as tissue paper um it's a bit more easy like if you're heavy-handed um, I definitely say use the rice paper first other than tissue paper just because it has a little bit more body to it and it's not going to die if you um, drown it in glue, uh, which I have done many times. Unfortunately, when you drown napkins and tissue paper in glue, however, it tends to be a little bit more finicky and gets upset. Um, by upset I mean it just doesn't doesn't stay in one piece it pull, falls apart completely which isn't bad it's interesting and this is a very hard to glue from then on in so I'm just putting glue on the back of this piece here um, also with the vellum, so then you do get that see-through effect, you want to make sure you're using a clear glue and not a white glue. So, um, clear glue is basically anything with the word gel in it. Um, a white glue, the only one I can really think of that I know well of is either gesso or, you know, that green bottle stuff. Like there's that blue bottle and the green bottle, that type of white glue. So, oh, and then there's the purple bottle. So I don't actually remember the names of them. I just know what their branding looks like. I know I should remember the names of them. And I have no doubt that my mum will be calling up telling me the names of them after this class. But you know what? It is all good. Right. So we want to make sure this sticks now. And the only thing with the vellum is you just got to make sure you get the corners because that's where 
you're going to have a little bit of curl because of the glue. Oh, that's okay, Robin. Morning. How are you? And then I'm just adding some more in. There we go. So now that we've got all of that done, I'm just going to lift it up to show you the difference between the two collages because um, I do get text messages during the week and the ones that I get a lot of are asking me about um, the difference between tissue paper, rice paper and um, vellum. Now, we're not using tissue paper today because I've used tissue paper for quite a few weeks and to tell you the truth, I used it this week uh, when I was making something like just off to the side after work and I ended up with it more on my arm and like I, I've lost arm hairs this week from tissue paper so I'm giving it the silent treatment because that's what you know adults do when something doesn't go well you give it a silent treatment moment um I know it's quite pathetic anyway um so we're not using it today because of that but uh, thank you, Leanne. Um, so basically with the rice paper, as you can see, like I said, you can't see the vellum that's underneath it when it's underneath it. However, when you put the vellum on top of the rice paper, you can see it quite clearly. Like you can even see the patterns. And that one there, and that one there. Uh, vellum will tend to wrinkle when you use gel medium matte. If you just use tape, it won't wrinkle, but if you use gel medium matte or any type of gluey type substance, it's going to wrinkle just a little bit. Um, and depending on how long it takes to dry, so how cold the day is. Right, so now that we've got that there, it's time to go into our glitter glue paints. So for my Montmartre glitter paints, I've got gold pink and blue i think i'm mostly going to use gold for these techniques just because we've already got a lot of blue and pink on the page it'll just kind of balance it i think out just a little bit so do, 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 do. now Sorry, I just had to grab my stencil and stamp that I, for some reason, put over there when I was attaching the power cord. Okay, so we're going to use this um, Art by Marlene stencil. It's a doshi one. It's been well used in my house. And uh, this um, background stamp. Now, I'm only, I'm using this one and this one just because they're quite plain and simple and they're not too detailed, so you'll be able to see the techniques quite clearly. Um, and we'll be able to focus on those just a little bit more than uh, how pretty the stencil is just because um, sometimes I do forget that I'm teaching a technique and I uh, go off on a tangent well you know adding layer upon layer upon layer um, so yeah yeah trying to keep it down love 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 glitter yeah I love glitter too Leanne but um, I make it a rule normally not to add glitter until the last layer just because if you've ever taught a kid's class with glitter glue, you will completely understand. When you have 10 children all wanting to put glitter on a page and it's sticky and it's tacky and it goes everywhere. Like I've ended up with glitter glue in my hair. Like the, like not the Steckles one. The, the I think it was like the Lindy Glitz one or the Kindy's Glitz. I can't remember what it was called, but the ones that, that was clump, that became clumpy that like grew clumpy if you didn't use it. I ended up with that in my hair once. Absolute nightmare. Um, I think my mum was there for that. So that was, that was, that was fun. Absolutely. Well, obviously my mum was there. It was her store. But yeah, she, uh, she had to help me out of that one. I don't remember how we got it out, but we did. Because it's no longer in there, I hope. Well, yeah, because it's been a few years. So now I'm just going to show you what the glitter glue looks like when you, stamp, when you stamp it and stencil it before you add paint to it. Um, 
because you can add paint to the glitter. I stop calling it glitter glue. It's glitter paint. You can add uh, other paints to it to like make it into a different color. And this one here is leaking paint. That's always fun. Would you look at that? My stencil is leaking. By the looks of it, teal paint. Or maybe that's Lindy's mess. I have no idea. It's so well used and not cleaned. Right, we're going to flip it over the other side then. So then that doesn't happen. Uh, you can avoid leakages like this if you just uh, wash your stencils. I don't because I forget to. Um, so, yeah. I would suggest it because this is going to be a fun moment. Yeah, so it's linking. But you can still see the technique, which is positive. I might just grab an actual clean stencil. Give me one minute. So this one has a little bit more detail, so I don't know how well it's going to work, but it should still technically work. It's clean, which is positive. can see that that's positive okay there we go so that one there you can see clearly now the one hand's gone do, 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 do. quite literally there was rain here yesterday it rained it actually pelted down where i walked from my car to my workplace which is so much fun because you know i just love being drenched when i arrive it's all right the first few customers got a real um, giggle out of it. Alrighty, alright, so we've got that there. So you can kind of see, so with the thinner patterns, it, it's a little bit more hard to see. I think you can see that, like, just. So when using stencils with just the glitter, it can be a little bit harder to see because the glitter is not clumped together. It's quite spaced out, so then you can mix it with other paints. That's what Mott Mott's done in this case. Um, it's very similar to the stamping. It's actually better if you rub um, a chunk of it on, for example. We'll just do some up here. So if we slather on a good clump of it in that general facility and then just go in, sit down and then lift. Oh, look, that also had Lindy Smith on it, but it removed, which was the point. So it actually removes the glitter paint from that area and you can see it's left on the stamp there so well, I hope you can see that I can I don't know if I'm displaying that very well I need to clean my stuff well morning Karen right so now we've got that there we're just going to it this stuff so then we're just going to come in and sprinkle a bit of it down here and do the same thing because you can never have something in one spot so that's the general rule and once you've got some glitter glue on your stamp you can actually use it to make dots everywhere so i'll show you that in a minute because that's actually pretty cool i didn't think it was going to do that i knew it lifted it off but i didn't think it might have put it back down because sometimes when stamps lift paint off it actually gets absorbed or dries too fast for you to put it back down but it hasn't which is really cool because now we've got dots Everywhere, see? Dot, 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 dot. It's a dotty glitter pattern. That's so cool. Okay, right. Sorry. You can add about that. So now, what we're going to do is, is we're going to add some paint to it. And you guys get will get to see what it's like when the glitter actually becomes more opaque, in a sense. Um, this would be really cool if we added black to it, but I don't paint with black paint. And it's just because it's a little bit heavy and uh, my mental health is a little bit at risk at the moment. So I'm just making it a general rule to avoid colours that create difficulty for me. I know. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do is, is I'm just going to get the stuff off my paintbrush as quickly as possible. Just because it is still got that gluey content to it, so I don't want to destroy my paintbrush. You probably don't use your favorite paintbrush. I know, right? Very, very lucky. 
I definitely need to clean my stuff. Like that is a full blown, a hundred percent. I need to clean my stuff stuffs. So when you add white to it, it actually dulls the glitter just a bit down. Um, and that's because the, uh, the glitter paint is already very light. So when you add white to it, it makes it even lighter. So it dulls it. I, I don't know if that makes much sense. In my brain, it does. Um, when I'm saying it out loud, though, it doesn't seem to be. So I'm sorry about that. Ooh, picked up some of that. I actually think that, that was paint, that green stuff. Just, that a paint might actually lift paint off things. Oh my gosh, it could be a good cleaner. I might be able to clean some of my stencils and stamps then. Ooh. My stash is overdue for a clean, by the way. So, yeah. That is coming up. And about a month's time, I will clean my stuff. Right. So now we've added the white, I'll just show you. I'll show you what it looks like when you add a different color to the glitter paint. So I don't know if you can see that. The glitter actually becomes more of a texture when you add it to the white paint in a sense. Which is quite nice. Um, whereas if you add it to like an ink, like a Lindy's Mists. Hello, Wendy's Mist that's activated. Has it? Oh, yes, I have this one. Okay. So, for this, you are going to need like a, a tub, literally. Uh, let me just get or like a plastic dish. I don't want to mix too much of my glitter paint in the Lindy's Mist, and I don't want to use too much of my Lindy's because. Little puppets, there we go. So we've got a bit there, and we're just gonna grab our some of the glitter paint. We're just gonna mix, and because this is an ink, it will actually it won't color the like it won't dull the glitter. It will actually keep it. The same it is and I'll just add another layer of glitteriness to it so it's gonna like come in and draw some flowers Coming in and yeah, I don't know if you can see that too well. well I'll lift it up in a second to show you. And because it's also like a windy slash ink, it won't become, you'll be able to see the collage underneath. So 
just going to add some more of those white bits to the top. I painted over a few of them. I can point. Yeah. And then... Alright, so I'm just going to come over and do one over here. Now the glitter is also a lot heavier to uh, a lot heavier than the ink, so it is gonna float to the bottom in a sense. Um, if you do pull it, so if you do have like a pooling of the ink on your page, it will actually um, what's it called? Um, you'll see more glitter as it dries because it'll become flatter and be absorbed by the page. You know how some things when you paint it on it, it looks very bright and then after it dries it becomes a little bit duller because the paper's absorbed a bit of it. In a sense that's what the glitter is going to do but it's going to be the opposite. You'll see more of it. So here we go. Just going to come in with my stamp and redo these dots up here because it might have taken a bit of it away. Right, and then so I'm just going to lift that up to show you. So as you can see, the glitter is a lot stronger than um, in the in Lindy Smith than in the white paint. I'm just going to try and see if you can see that. Uh, my camera's pretty fussy, so I can't actually tell if you can because my Wi-Fi is crap. Which is always fun. Oh, it's all good. That's why we have a piece of paper down. Right, I'm going to put that where I'm not going to link it so that I can use it for later. So now that we've got that one there, I'm also going to show you what it looks like when you add the glitter paint to another paint, which I was going to do at first and then I did the Lindy's missing because I realized that that might be a bit easier to show you what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so let me just grab another color. Anyone got a color they want me to use? We've so far got like blues, purples, and pinks. Maybe if we go with, I don't know, could we go really out of the park and just go like orange? Um, which would be interesting. A bit difficult on my part, but you know. Um, why don't you guys decide to choose that? I might just, let's see, what have we got here? Hmm, maybe, like we could go pink. Let's see what pink have we got, we've got, oh that orange is nearly empty though, so we've got that orange, it's nearly empty. We've got yellow. It's all good. We've got pink. That's like nearly medicine pink. This is very close to medicine pink. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what medicine pink is, I have one color that I can't, that one color pink that I don't paint with, and it's called medicine pink because I had pink medicine when I was a kid. Um, fun fact. Mm -hmm. But you guys probably didn't want to know about me. Alright, so there's that one. There's also this one here. We haven't used this one in a while. I think last year we used this on nearly every single one of our art journal pages. Not gonna lie. We used it a lot. It was the year of whatever that paint's called because I can't pronounce it. Green. We've also got like a metallic pink from Wilma, which is quite nice. Um, it's a bit transparent. 
for translucent. Okay, Ooh, we've got this blue. Yeah, it's already got shimmer in it, so it might be kind of perfect as adding glitter to it, but you know. Okay, and take a shot or teal. Um, let's see. I've got a lot of colors out here now. Um, too many. Maybe if we go for the, you know, maybe the violet might look really nice. But the gold, I'm just trying to think what will match the gold the best. I think it might be this colour here. So we might go with him. More than likely. Alright, let's put the rest of the colours back in there. Okay, now we've got all those colours in there. Time to stand up. Right, let's see, shall we? So we're just gonna, mm. yep, overdue for a clean. And it's gonna put a little bit of my quadrant violet out. So this won't make it as dull as what it was with the white, but it still won't be as bright as what it was as the um, Lindy's. So what we're going to come and do is actually And I'm just painting um, my colours on in patterns just so then we get a little bit more detail on the page because we don't have that much collage or detail left on it. And your eye does need something to focus on in a painting so by adding and in pans we can just smudge it out and make it a block but you can also keep it if you like it Alright, so I'll that and that. What I might do is I might actually just come. put it so then like it leaks into the gold paint. Okay. I might just grab some of the plain file on my finger and just rub it out. So, can, so you've seen the techniques now. I'm just gonna make this into a bit more of a finished page. And now that we've got that there, 
Now I'm going to come in and do this. We're just going to grab our gold paint. We're going to, well, not our gold, our Wendy's Mist and Glitter Glue and just flick some of it on that. I'm going to grab the white paint. I just want some white dots. Ink. Cross the page. Oh, morning, Lorraine. So then we're going to add on there. And that we've got him. And then, so I just want to blend this bit here, I think, a little bit more into the whites there, just because it's quite a hard cut between the edge of page with the belt. And then Sorry, you guys probably get sick of me saying that. Um, and then it's gonna add some white over there. So I'm just making it the light lighter and the darks darker. By doing this, you get a little bit more of like heightened depth. Don't know. Sounds really fancy. It just means that your colors are brighter. Simple as that. So. I'm just going to tap in and add some of Mondays mists into that bit. And then it still looks just a little bit bland to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in with um, an oil pastel and just with back with the original blue from the rice paper. And I'm just going to add maybe some love hearts, I think, to it. Because, you know, it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so love's in the air. Um, but a happy Mother's Day for anyone who um, is a mum, which I'm guessing all of you are. So have fun there. No, I haven't bought my mum a Mother's Day gift, but I will be giving it to her um, on next, when I'm down, when I'm back up for May. So that should be fun. So the reason why I'm going to use the oil pastel is just because it goes on top of all of the acrylic. And the glitter paint is essentially um, water-based like the um, ac like acrylic paint, which is why it dries so fast. So I'm just going to come in and dry it real quick.
Uh, just be wary when you are drying paint on top of vellum. If you start to smell burnt plastic, stop. Because vellum has a plastic content in it. A lot of it is plastic. So, um, like, it will melt like plastic. I have seen someone melt vellum before. That someone was me. Oh, it's it off before it was dry. Um, Spring stitch. That's great to hear, Di. And then I'm just going to come in and add the love hearts. And there's those ones, and I think I'm just going to grab my watercolor real quickly because I've got that paisley gray watercolor that I'm nearly out of, which is quite sad. Um, and then this one comes in and just makes the darks that little bit darker if that makes sense think we might be done I think I think I think first time watching you definitely have a different style and technique to your mum yeah uh, my mum and I are very much I oh, think you uh, 93 next month oh my gosh oh crap she must be a very fit woman and I need to stop swearing on lives um thank you Robin um yeah, I definitely have a different style 
to my mom. My mom and I are similar, but different. Um, we look like clones. <laughs> if anyone has ever seen us, our faces are pretty much identical. It's great. Actually, if I hold her phone the right way while staring at it, it actually opens for me. It's quite fun. I just have to look like deadpan at like straight on. Um, so yeah, that's a fun fact. A computer even gets us confused. It's great. It's great, honestly. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to lift this up uh, so then you guys can see it. So there's... So as you can see, the different glitter techniques. So for like the last 10 minutes, I've basically just gone in. Uh, I know I didn't explain a lot while I was doing it. I'm sorry. I get a little bit into the zone when I do it. It's just you make the light slider and the dark starter. So then your colors are more brighter and get to see a bit more of your techniques and your collage in there. It just highlights bits that you want to see. Like I wanted to highlight the circles a little bit more and especially where I had done the Lindy's Mist with the glitter because I think it looks really cool over here and the, the dots as well. And I just think it needed to pull back some of that blue from the collage to like link it all together or else this blue just looks like it's there for no reason so that's why I put it in there um so that's today's class I hope you guys learnt a little bit I do try teaching techniques if any of you have any suggestions please um, message me throughout the week I take any suggestions whatsoever into play if you've got some feedback text me message me um Probably don't comment on this video because I don't tend to look back at the comments. I will be completely honest with you. Um, I'm really busy during the week. Uh, just doing things. Don't really like an adult, unfortunately. Uh, don't really like adulting, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so um, if you do want to leave me some feedback or suggestions, message me, email me, anything. Um, Contact my mum and she'll send it along to me either way. Uh, oh, thank you for all the colours and the texture that the glitter gives. Thanks, Leanne. Great colours and techniques. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Di. Um, so thank you all for coming. Uh, I believe mum's not teaching until Tuesday next week. Um, have a great National Scrapbooking Day. I don't um, – and I shall see you all next week. Bye. Stay safe.